Behind me is a, a mural by Milford Zorns, done in 1982 at the uh, LA Fairgrounds. Uh, Miller Cheats uh, got a hold of Milford and said, I want you to do a demonstration uh, watercolor at the LA County Fairgrounds. And I want you to attempt to do the biggest watercolor that you can possibly do. Uh, so Milf Milford designed uh, the mural and, and uh, uh, Miller Cheats said that, was, that worked just fine. They uh, bought a 35, it's probably about a 36 foot long sheet of aluminum and uh, glued watercolor paper to it. It's all one piece of paper, all one piece of aluminum. Uh, Milford took it over to the, rolled it up, took it over to the LA County Fair, uh, put it on some sawhorses, and it took three, four, five days to do it. The, uh, the name of the painting is California. It's supposed to depict all the coast of California. Uh, he did it in 1982, so he was about 75, 76 years old when he did it. Milford was, at, even into his 80s, was very active, uh, painted constantly, I mean, even into his 90s, really. So at, uh, at that age, he was young and energetic, and uh, even though this was a, a massive task, uh, Milford was up to it. it. Took him three or four days to do it, and yeah, I'm sure he worked uh, all day long at painting it. Milford had to have been fairly focused, but he was all the time anyway, fairly focused on doing this. But the idea was to do this as a demonstration for folks that were going to the fair. So I would be certain that people would ask him what he was doing and how he was doing it and those kinds of things. So he would stop for uh, periods of time and talk to people about, you know, the, the process that he was going through. Uh, Milford would have been very energetic, uh, uh, loved to talk to people about his artwork, and enjoyed doing it. I'm sure he enjoyed doing this. I believe what happened after that, a, a doctor from Pasadena bought the mural to install in his office, and it was too big. It then went over to the University of uh, Southern Utah at a show that Milford was doing, and actually had a frame on it done by a gentleman by the name of Spike Ress. Uh, from there, the mural came here to Harvey Mudd and pretty much just got lost. Uh, I knew that the uh, mural was at one of the dining rooms in one of the colleges in Claremont. I didn't know which one. It took about four years to find it. Uh, I had called uh, Steve Combe at Pomona College to see if he knew where it was, and he didn't. But about a year ago, Steve Combe got in touch with me and said, Hal, my wife uh, just went to work at Harvey Mudd, and guess what? The mural is at Harvey Mudd in the, di in the dining room. So Marie and I came here, uh, well, maybe six or eight months ago, and we went to the dining room, which is actually across the green. Uh, and it would be really hard to miss a 35-foot long mural, and we didn't see it. So eventually I talked to a gentleman over there, and he said, well, about when was it put up? And I said, well, it was done in 1982, so probably by 1983 it's here at Harvey Mudd. And he said, well, the student lounge, which is across the green, used to be the cafeteria. Well, when Marie and I walked in here, we couldn't miss a 35-foot by 4-foot mural. Uh, and there it is. <laughs> We're talking about uh, we'd like to have a frame put on it. It needs some very minor uh, cleanup on it because it's in really good shape. It hangs uh, quite high on the wall, so nobody's touched it or any of those kinds of things. So our effort now is to get a frame on it. We will put a plaque on one of the upright posts uh, to talk about the title of it and who did it and what year and those kinds of things. Might be mildew. Tony Sheets, uh, Miller Sheets' son, was here just a little bit ago. Uh, Tony will do any of the touch-ups that need to be done. He's got a team of three or four folks that he works with to do that. Just by using the cliffs yeah. and then the forest coming through the peninsula and then falling back into the uh, the rolling hills. I don't know where he got the snow-capped hills. But well, it's the whole coast of California. Yeah, well, <laughs> well yeah. it's hard to know. I mean, it could be. I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Because I, I, I don't have any of the original I mean, design work at all. And he probably started there because as it comes down, it gets less and less uh, complicated. Yeah, and Much yeah. more big washes and stuff. Yeah, yeah. ran out of time, you know. <laughs> 
energy. And, uh, and I bet you anything, if he was alive, he'd come back and say, <laughs> well, let me work on this a little bit. This is, you know. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I had a great conversation with Dad shortly before he died. He had all these unfinished paintings. And I said, you know, Dad, do you want me just to burn them or what do you want? And he says, hell no, I want you to finish them. <laughs> so I, I photograph them before I start yeah, doing yeah, anything on yeah, it. You know, yeah. It's really fun working on something that, you know, is connected with your dad. Yeah, sure. So. And you take that stain off the, the, the whatever is Yeah, it. whatever it is. Yeah, that's I think that will clean off no yeah, problem. Yeah, I think so too. There's a little, there's some spotting right here in these yellow hills yeah, just above it. the might yeah. be mildew it could be it's hard um, to know yeah uh actually just a, a da uh, not damp cloth just a dry cloth yeah we'll take, take it right off. That off okay yeah. all right and well i told i told through. the people here at harvey mudd i was looking through a 1942 otis catalog and they looked at their board of directors, and Harvey Mudd was on the board of directors oh, for Otis. Oh, so he was really, inter really interested in the art through the years, and that may be how this wound up here. They just said, hey, we really would like to have this here. And I would bet you that 95% of the students come in here don't even know it's there. Probably don't even look up. <laughs> I don't, they don't. You, know, you can't look up when you're thumb. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll probably be another six or eight months before we get it done. We'll have to see about uh, getting the funding for putting the frame on it, getting it cleaned, and those kinds of things. And Tony Sheets is absolutely the perfect guy to do the, uh, the restoration on this painting. <laughs>